Hi everyone, welcome to the Sunflower Ranch YouTube page. We are excited to start our page and decided that we'd start with our first introduction video, just kind of telling about our story and telling what we're going to do, our goals moving forward, and kind of what you guys will see coming up. Yes. Our story starts, we've been together about 10 years now. We have four kids and one on the way. Yep. We currently live in New Mexico. We have pretty normal jobs. I'm a real estate agent that primarily works from home and... I do computer IT work for the government on the Navajo Reservation. So we pretty much have an 8 to 5 job, normal living right now. Um, our kids have been homeschooled the last two years, not just because of the pandemic, but just choices that we had made. We're ready to jump and change all of those things. We're going to shake it all up. Yeah. Everyone keeps telling us we're crazy and that we should be terrified, but we're going to do it. <laughs> so we're, like Kirsten said, we're leaving a comfortable, normal life, both decent jobs, mm -hmm. and we are moving to the Northwest, which has been a dream of ours, almost our entire relationship to move together. And we talked in the last few years about starting a ranch together, having animals and gardens mm -hmm. and things like that. So what kind of animals are we gonna have? So we're going to have cows for milk, of course, chickens for eggs. Yep. Um, I'm thinking goats, they definitely are good lawnmowers, and they can make cheese. Mm -hmm. um, we have to have a pig for our second youngest daughter because she needs her own pua. Obsessed um, with Moana. Our middle daughter really wants horses, so um, I think we'll have a few of those. Just, you know, get them definitely in an extracurricular activity on the ranch. Mm -hmm. um, our son, our oldest son, um, wants his own tortoise. So I think that'll be interesting to have on the farm. We've got a three year, five year, 10 year, 15 year plan, which we'll mm -hmm. probably go over in another video. But um, the goal, I think one day, and it's gonna be really fun to look back on this mm -hmm. video because we will make the goal happen. <laughs> but uh, we would love to have a clothing design. Our logo is super awesome. So it's mm -hmm. gonna look great on clothes in our opinion. Mm -hmm. um, we'd love to be able to let people come visit the farm help take care of the animals, all kinds of Have stuff. Have an experience, um, mm -hmm. and something we really talk about is giving our kids different experiences in life, and, and it'd be great to be able to have people on the farm that would like to volunteer or and you know, work on it. And if it's someone's first time on the farm, they'll be able to really relate, or we can really relate yeah. to them, because we'll remember when it was our first time, because yeah. neither of us have ever lived on a farm before. No, neither of us had any other animals besides cats, dogs. Yeah. Everything about this adventure is pretty new to us. Um, we got this property and it is completely oh, yeah. gutted. Um, beautiful pretty, land yeah. on the side of the mountain overlooking a beautiful river. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll put some pictures up so you guys can see it because it's unreal. Um, but the house is basically a good foundation and good frame and everything else needs to be fixed. New roof, which we've gotten quotes of forty and fifty thousand on with the crazy lumber prices There's right now. Bats and mice. Yeah. Um so it has to be bombed and cleaned out before you're gonna we can be watch in us. It. You're gonna watch us catch bats. It's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. But we won't keep them, I promise. Um, That's true. <laughs> But it, it is a new adventure for us. I, I keep joking and saying we're going to be on HGTV because I have I have never put up drywall. Yeah. I, I... <laughs> I've never done... I've done some electrical work because I work in IT. I've like worked on electronics, but not like the wiring of a house before. But I feel like with this day and age, you can learn anything on YouTube and you will watch us make mistakes. I'm sure that every <laughs> video, the professional who like that video focuses on, like mm -hmm. when we're putting up drywall, they're going to be laughing the entire time. Yeah. If I record myself doing electrical work, they're going to be laughing. Mm -hmm. uh, the person who has been a rancher for 20 years is going to laugh when they watch <laughs> us milk a cow. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be, it's going to be hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. And so our biggest thing about starting our YouTube channel is just We'd love to document everything we do. And we have a lot of family and friends that live in different states and different areas. And, and we just love to share everything that we're doing with you guys. And, and one day our kids will be old enough that they can look back and, yeah. and watch us 
putting together the thing that, you know, they're adults and they see us have. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And this is something that we want to hand down to our family and the goal is to make it like a family heirloom and um, it's going to be called the Sunflower Ranch because we want to have sunflowers all around the property. So that would be super cool. And I think the greatest thing about sunflowers are they're not just beautiful, but I think they really bring happiness and um, light to life. Mm -hmm. And and it's something that I think the world needs. It's just more happiness and more um, life and joyousness. And I think that the Sunflower Ranch will bring that. And I think the kids are going to love all the gardening and taking care of the flowers I agree. and stuff. I think Speaking of that. kids. Yes. Can you tell them about the kids? <laughs> um, so we have four kids and one on the way. Yep. Um, our oldest is a boy and he is super smart. He was born a warrior. He was born with cleft lip, cleft palate. And it has been a journey. Um, I was a young mom, about 20 years old when I had him. Um, I had no idea what that was. and. And it's been a journey just learning it together. Um, he's stronger than I could ever imagine. I couldn't imagine doing most of the things that he does mm -hmm. um, and the surgeries he has to go through. But, but it has been so good to just see him grow and evolve. Um, he is an avid Fortnite gamer. So trust me, you'll probably see some of that when he gets a chance at the camera. And that's a big part of this whole ranch thing for us is to get the kids off their switches a little bit and get them to experience life mm -hmm. in nature. I agree. So, yeah. but anyways, um, our seven year old daughter is a sweetheart, super smart, just loves animals. Um, I think she's mm -hmm. going to really love the farm. Speaking of switches, we gave the kids an option to buy one game the other day and she picked a veterinarian game. She so. has always wanted to be a vet. So, yeah. um, I think she'll really love the experience. The, Six-year-old is a firecracker. She's definitely She's the pistol. <laughs> definitely the pistol of the family. Um, she also really loves animals. Again, she was the one that loves Pua. She loves um, to sing. She probably she says she's going to be a rock star someday. Yeah. Um, and and she, you know, when we go through the bloopers that some people can see, trust me, she will be the one on them because um, she says the darndest things. Yeah. Um, and then we also have an eight-month-old, and she says "dada," and she's starting to move around. I win. And <laughs> that was her first word. She's starting to hold her own bottle. She's super smart already. So, so we're super excited to see her grow and and what she does on the farm. Mm -hmm. um, and then we actually are expecting and are due late January. Yeah. Um, so you guys will also see that journey. Speaking of the kids, they will be transitioning from homeschooling for the last couple of years into a private school atmosphere. So they're mm -hmm. going to be in choir. Uh, they're going to get up in the morning and have to do chores and then put on their the uniforms. And yeah. <laughs> take care of the animals. Um, get so, to school on time. Yeah, be at school. Um, so it's exciting. Also bought an RV. But come to find out, 24 feet is not that big. Whoops. <laughs> Too late now. I didn't know any better. I was trying to get an RV in a certain price range. And uh, apparently I bought a really small one that all of our family is terrified. <laughs> That's going to be tough for us to live in. But we're going to do it. Mm -hmm. Me. Darling. Mm -hmm. Four kids. Two dogs. Three cats. Baby <laughs> on the way. 24 foot RV. It's going to happen. Yeah. You're going to get to see that. Yeah, we'll we'll give you a tour. We don't even know where it's going yet. Turn. We don't camera. know. We don't. We don't know where the. Yeah, you just spin with the camera and you see the whole thing. <laughs> we don't know where the septic tank is. We don't know where the sewer is on our property. We don't even know if we're gonna put it on the property at first. And uh, it's mid June right now, and mm -hmm. we plan on being there at the end of July. Mm -hmm. So it's happening. You are going to see us chase our dreams. We're just going to do it. We're leaving the comfy lifestyle, comfy jobs, everything being simple and easy. <laughs> and uh, we're just going to do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we think that a lot of people want to do this in life and they are afraid to take the chance. I'm a risk taker by nature and luckily she's super supportive. <laughs> um, and I've talked her into this crazy plan. So here we, here we go. <laughs> And I think it'll be a journey for all of us and, and we're excited to have 
everyone follow us through this journey and we'd love it if you liked commented and shared to everyone subscribing is big too yes any comments that you leave us we will make sure that you get answered um, it's something that i actually love doing i'd love communication with anyone out there that has questions or just wants to communicate because you're doing the same thing um, if you're in any sort of rv farming facebook groups travel anything like that please if you think you know someone who would enjoy the video share it we will respond to every single comment that we mm -hmm. get um that's not mean agreed it has to be nice <laughs> or we're gonna ignore you i agree with that um but please share it with people that you know there's we know that there's a million people out there who love to travel love to be in an rv love farming camping raising animals, um, people who are just looking for motivational inspiration, um, we, or even comedy, I'm pretty sure you're going to get a lot of laughing at us. I think anyone that interested in big family, what kind yeah. of things you're going through, I'm always open to questions or just comments. Family um, planning kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. America's kind of moved away from big families. And, I agree. And we love having a big family. That's I agree. That's something yeah. you're really going to notice about us is we love having a lot of kids. So. Mm -hmm. And just family, being surrounded by family. Yep. So I think that's pretty much it for our story. Um, if you have any questions or comments or want to know anything, please let us know and, and we'll get back to you immediately. I think we'll see you all down the road in this adventure. Thanks for checking out the channel. Bye.